Platoon 2 is a game all about covering the ground with your games. Your main objective is to cover the ground as much as you can with your thing. After covering the ground with whatever liquids you're storing in your body, you can rack up an ultimate attack, or what I like to call your squack. Your squinkling can unleash enough inside foods to just make you feel yucky. You may also attempt to ink others, although Nintendo's just too family friendly and doesn't have the ink balls to put any blood in the game. So you just explode in whatever color you're unlucky enough to have. You hate pink? Oh sorry, and now you die in it. Make sure to not get in your enemy's way though, or else you might. Oh, oh shoot, I'm gonna squidaddle out of- ah! As you can see here, we are currently playing the last Splatfest, Order vs. Chaos. And if you think they're different, then watch this. Hello, yes, can I, uh, order chaos? Okay, so now you know the basics of Splatoon 2. So let's take a deeper dive into each weapon. Okay, I genuinely forgot the name of this gun, so let's just call it the Egg. The Egg has a slower firing rate than other guns, but does more damage. This ult is called the Booyah Bomb. Here, you spam down on your D-pad to the point where it breaks. This is not a joke. Those machine gun shots are not from the game. That is for me shooting my D-pad to charge up the bomb as much as I can. Splatoon battles consist exclusively of shooting for 3 seconds and squinting back into the fluids you shot out of the gun. Oh shoot, that was nice. Okay, let's move on to another weapon. This gun is called an umbrella. No, this is not a gun. No, this is not an umbrella. It is something far scarier. It's in the between. Honestly, it's just basically a shotgun from Fortnite. If you hold shoot while holding an umbrella, you can activate this shield. This shield can protect you from anything except from the rotten stench of gamers. The ult with this weapon is just bowels. A perfect weapon for releasing all the dread that's been bubbling up inside. Did you know Splatoon is a cross between two words? Splamingo and Platoon. The charger actually legitimately charges your phone. Although, when you let go, you just lose all your battery, so, uh, I don't recommend it. By the way, this weapon is just literally impossible to play with. Now watch here. I will get my first kill out of one. This weapon is called the Roller. It rolls out more paint than any other weapon, like how I roll out my responsibilities to everyone else in my family. Also, your feet just move so incredibly fast that the blue hedgehog turned into a white cat. OH SHOOT! AIR S- this ult makes it rain, and you might be saying, this makes me sick to my stomach, and to that I say, I'm excited for Sigma 2. If you roll over enough people, you eventually become rolled ice cream. Oh shoot, that actually wasn't too bad. I guess I can't put this clip in. Okay guys, I think it's time for a speed round. This weapon is just a bucket. That's all I have to say about it. This is the minigun, or you can call it the splatling if you're a suck up. For this gun, you charge it up and let it go. Then all the ink you've been storing inside you comes out by just completely splashing. Also, it's generally pretty annoying. This is an octo brush, and you use it to, well, I mean, you've guessed it at this point. Brush your teeth. This is a sploosh o -matic, and contrary to popular belief, it is not automatic. This is the most basic gun in the game, the Splattershot Jr. All it really means is you're gonna die more. I thought I recorded a part for duelies, but I didn't. And that's it! I definitely didn't miss a single gun. Sorry this video is so out of place, but you know what? So is my life in general. I really like Splatoon 2, and it was the last Splatfest last week, so I decided to record some gameplay and explain it to the six people who didn't know what it was. Anyways, hope Squids. you- SQUIDS!